Hello, I'm Mr. Charity. And I'm Mrs. Charity. It's our pleasure to bring you these free cartoons. We are traditional Catholic homeschooling parents who for a long time have lamented the lack of faithful Catholic content for children without any of the heirs of Vatican II. So we decided to make our own cartoons as well as children's books that build from the content of each cartoon. We also produce homeschool supplements, such as our Catholic History video series. We particularly are interested in telling vital yet neglected stories from our Catholic history. For obvious reasons, the modernists have avoided children's content about Pope St. Pius X and his fight against modernism. Likewise, it's hard to find content about the Crusades. These cartoons are a labor of love but they also require a lot of time and resources. With your small monthly donation on Patreon, you can help us keep making traditional Catholic cartoons and other content for our children. Please visit our website and support us today. So enjoy the cartoon. Let me introduce you to Mary. She just moved to the neighborhood. Hello, Mary. I am Mrs. Riley. It's such a pleasure to meet you. How do you like living here? Hello, Mrs. Riley. Thank you for having me. We moved here because my dad got a new job. It is nice here. Oh, Mary, I see you're wearing a scapular. You must be Catholic. Oh, yes, we are. I always wear my scapular. That's wonderful. It's so important to wear the scapular. It's a sign of Our Lady's protection, and it carries a powerful promise. Do you girls know where the scapular comes from? No, I don't know. And I don't know either. Let me tell you. The story starts with a little boy in England who left his family to be a hermit and live in a tree. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Dear Mother, please give your protection to our nephew Edward as he leaves to go on the crusade. Put your mantle over him and keep him safe. Mom and Dad, I have been thinking for a long time now that I want to serve Our Lady in a special way. I want to be a hermit and live in the forest, so I can pray and do penance for others. When I pray, I think God is calling me to do this. Simon, you are so young. I can't imagine letting you live in the forest by yourself. If it is God's will, you can be a hermit when you are older. You don't know how to care for yourself properly. And besides, who would protect you from danger? Mother. We've just prayed for Our Lady's mantle to cover Edward as it goes on crusade. Pray also that Our Lady protects me and lets me live as a hermit. It is God's will, you will see. Have you heard about the hermit child? He lives out here, in this 
forest. His name is Simon, and he is only twelve years old. Can you imagine letting your twelve-year-old child live by himself in the forest? Well, his parents say there was no stopping him. He was determined to be a hermit. He has a reputation for being holy, and he lives in a stock, an old hollowed-out oak tree trunk. Thank you, Lord, for permitting me to live this way. May my penances and prayers bring graces to others to lead holy lives. My son Simon, you so often pray for my protection, and you shall have it. I want you to travel to Mount Carmel in the Holy Land. There is a group of monks that live on Mount Carmel who have dedicated themselves to me. Go and become one of them. I will protect you. Simon, Simon, are you in there? I know you are living as a hermit now. But I wanted to bring you some food and see how you were doing. Mum, yes, I am here. Thank you. I love you, Mother. God is so good to us. I just found out that Our Lady wants me to travel to the Holy Land some day. Isn't that great news? Charge! King Baldwin, you have defeated us again. You have fought bravely and well. I offer you a truce for two years. I will not attack your kingdom or harm your people. I will also let your Christian monks and pilgrims visit your holy sites in peace. Saladin, we hope that one day you and your people will embrace the true faith. But until then, we will defend our lands and our churches. I agree to your truce, and I will not attack your lands or people for two years. But you must keep your word. You must respect our monks and pilgrims and let them worship the one true God. There is a group of monks who live on Mount Caramel. They are devoted to the mother of your god. We were about to attack them, but now I will spare them. She must be watching over them. Hello, dear Beatrice. What brings you here to see our holy hermit, Simon Stock? God be with you, Matilda. My son is ill, and I need Simon's prayers. But there are so many people here. Say, isn't that your son talking to Simon right now? Yes, it is. You see, my son, he wants to join the crusade, and he's come to ask Simon for guidance. I'm here for the same reason, because I'm afraid for my son's safety. I wonder what Simon is saying to him. Why do you wish to go on crusade? There are indeed good reasons to go, but there are also bad reasons. 
I want to free the Holy Land from the Muslims. I want to be of service to the Church. Those are good reasons, my son. I... I want to go with you. Our Lady has told me to join the monastery of monks who live on Mount Carmel. Would you accompany me on this journey? Wow, you really want to go with me? I am honored. The holy man of Kent, Simon Stock, will travel with me to the crusade. I vow to protect you with my life. Our Lady protect us, cover us with her mantle, and lead us to the Holy Land. Deus Vult. It is Mount Carmel. This is the mountain of the prophet Elias, who called down fire from heaven. Our Lady has told me to meet these very monks, and I am overjoyed to fulfill her command as she wishes. May Our Lady protect you, brother. My name is Brother Cyprian. How may we help? Brother Cyprian, and all holy monks of Mount Carmel, I have come here from the faraway kingdom of England. I have lived as a hermit for many years, since I was twelve years old. Now Our Lady, whom you serve on this very mountain, has called me to join you here. May I be a brother of the monks of Mount Carmel? Brother Simon, we would love for you to join us. Our order has been on Mount Carmel for centuries. We chose this mountain because of the Old Testament prophet Elias. He called down fire from heaven in the sight of many, proving that the Lord was the true God. Mount Carmel is a holy mountain, and now it is dedicated to Our Lady. We pray for Our Lady's protection and to be wrapped in her mantle. In fact, the prophet Elias gave his mantle to his successor, Eliseus, when he was being taken up to heaven. His cloak, or mantle, fell to Eliseus, who then had the spirit and power of Elias. We pray for the same from Our Lady down to us. Jerusalem is under great threat. We have ruled this holy city since the First Crusade, when Godfrey, Raymond, and Robert drove away the infidels. We claimed it for Christ and His Church. But now the Muslims are attacking us from all sides. Sire, you are a hero to us all. You suffer from leprosy. 
but you are more courageous than any of us. We will follow you and fight for you, sire. May Christ's kingdom always reign in the Holy Land. If we stay faithful and charitable, maybe God will grant us victory. My leprosy is killing me slowly. My body is falling apart. I fear that when I die, the Muslims will take back Jerusalem. Send some of our knights to warn the Christians in my lands. Tell them to be ready, because we may not be able to defend them much longer. Holy monks of Mount Carmel! Holy monks of Mount Carmel! I have an urgent message from the King of Jerusalem, Baldwin IV. Peace be to you, brother. I am Simon. What is this urgent message? Brother Simon, Jerusalem is in danger. The Muslims are growing stronger and could take it back very soon. Our king has sent me to warn you, so you can get ready. The Muslims will show you no mercy. You should think about escaping to Europe. Thank you. I will tell my brothers. May Our Lady guide and protect you. What did the messenger say, Brother Simon? The king has warned us to leave our home on Mount Carmel, because the Muslims might take over Jerusalem soon. He suggested that we move our monastery to a safer place. But we are the monks of Mount Carmel. We have lived here for centuries, and we don't know any other place. Brothers, I have an idea. Let us go back to my homeland, the Kingdom of England. We can find land and build monasteries there. Let us pray and ask God what He wants us to do. Ahmed, tell your men to storm the city walls. It has been almost 90 years since these Christian dogs have ruled Jerusalem. But today, we take it back for Islam.
Omar, find those Christian monks who have lived here for so long. They have been spreading their Fats religion for centuries. Today, we will end their blasphemy. Bring them to me now. Sir, we can't find the monks anywhere. They must have known we were coming. They've escaped. What should we do? Ah! Uh, I wanted to see them die by my sword. Well, at least I can enjoy watching their monastery burn. Tell your men to set it on fire and destroy it. Reduce it to ashes. Yes, sir. Brother Simon Stock, I have a message from the Holy Land. Your monastery brothers, the Muslims, have burnt it down. Brother Simon, you were right. We left just in time. Our old home has been destroyed. Let's look towards the future and establish houses in England. Our Order of the Carmelites will spread devotion to Our Lady throughout the new land. My brothers, welcome to England. Let us see what God has in store for us here. I have heard news that monks from the Holy Land have come to live in England. If that is so, then England is truly blessed. Yes, sire, they are called the Carmelites. They used to live on Mount Carmel. Write them a letter for me. Tell them they are welcome in England and give them this money as a sign of my support. Tell them that I am leading an army of English soldiers to the Holy Land to take back Jerusalem. And finally, tell them that their king needs their prayers to Our Lady for her protection and our victory.
Dear Mother in Heaven, You are so good to your servants who are so weak and sinful. The Carmelites are dedicated to your honor and the glory of God. Yet we also need your protection and your guidance. May your mantle fall upon us, just as the mantle of Elias fell upon Eliseus. Give us some outward sign that we belong to you, dear lady. Christians everywhere need your help. Simon, your prayers have been heard in heaven. Receive, my beloved son, this habit of your order. This shall be to you and to all Carmelites a privilege, that whosoever dies clothed in this shall never suffer eternal fire. It shall be a sign of salvation, a protection in danger, and a pledge of peace. Simon, you have prayed for my protection, and behold, I give you the scapular to answer your prayers. In time, this scapular will be worn by Catholics throughout the world. They will be under my mantle, and I will give them special graces that they may save their souls. And that is the story of St. Simon Stock, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, and the scapular. You see, Our Lady has promised that whoever wears this scapular won't suffer the eternal fires of hell. But Mom, don't we have to be enrolled in the scapular by a priest? Yes, Mrs. Riley. I was enrolled in the scapular after my first Holy Communion. I haven't taken my scapular off since then. I want to wear it always. Yes, girls. A priest will enroll you in the scapular, which means that you will be officially clothed with the scapular and will receive the promises of Our Lady. Thank you.